nice. Okay, guys, and we are live. Now we're on Facebook Live, now we're trying a different camera. Hope that you can actually see now the white screen and you can see us and hear us better. So, Maria, you want to explain a little bit what we're going to talk about today? Yes, so this one is again from one of our viewers, I believe it's Omar. He asked, how can you easily transition the timing when you're social dancing, um, salsa social dancing, of course. So we're going to we're gonna talk a little bit about like the basic way, what, if you actually hear the change, what to do, and then we'll talk about a little bit more advanced concept. Um, we'll do the basic way with music because that's easily you can explain it. The advanced one we'll do without music. Cool? So we're just going to make sure that we are live. Yes, everything yes. seems to be working. You can Looks hear like us. Works. Thumbs up. Uh, and we're good to go. Perfect. Cool. So before we start, make sure that you like, you share, you comment. Please, we guys, we feel very happy when we see your comments and we know that we are not talking here like crazy people <laughs> and it's, it's you on the other side so let's yeah. start first of course um, when musicians write music uh, they sometimes they write music but they do some arrangements and and as a dancer we feel that the music completely switch right it like change so and then you catch yourself in the middle of the dance and then you're dancing backwards let's put it that way you feel backwards yes so how do we going to fix this without start from here for example let's start with the basic right you start dancing with your basic dancing on two two three four four six seven and actually we're going to spend on one two for all the people out there that are watching us on one so imagine that we're dancing on two right now six seven and then the music changed and then instead of dancing on the two three which is new york style and we start going back with the right Six, and then boom, they're like, oh, wait a minute, when this happened, now I feel like I'm backwards, right? So the way to do it is we're going to add, I'm going to explain first the full work, and then we're going to explain how we leave this part. So there are two ways. You can either uh, fix it when you're going back, guys, or when you're going forward, guys. And for this uh, concept, we're going to talk about the full work first. So when we're dancing, let's put the kung kung sound of the conga that uh, we we'll talked about in another videos. We can start from here. Start kung kung two three kung kung six seven kung kung two three. This is the right way, right? In mind the music change, and now I'm gonna be dancing. I'm gonna start dancing backwards. Six seven kung kung two three kung kung six seven to fix it. Two three kung kung six seven kung kung two three kung kung. Six seven, come back. Two three, kung kung. Six seven, kung kung. Two three, kung kung. Six seven, I'm backwards again. Two three, kung kung. Six seven, kung kung. Two three again. Six seven, kung kung. Basically, we're tapping and two, switching three. the weight. I don't think it's Without hitting the chair. <laughs> okay, so if you step in on somebody's on the back, just say I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so <laughs> tell exactly what we're doing with the feet. So if you're doing this, if, let's say that the lady's going forward and you guys, you're going back, you're going bam, bam, tap from the center, and then with no the same weight, leg, just a tap. Just a tap with the same leg, you just go back on the on, on the next hit, which is gonna be either for the two or the six, right? So for ladies, of course, it's the opposite way. You're going forward with the left. Now. So how do you let the lady understand that this is what you're trying to do, right? Without just doing it, and not letting the lead, uh, to me, the follower understand. Yeah. So, um, I'm sorry, just before I move into the, this part, you can actually do it the other way, just in case that, oh my God, it's always with the right. No, you can do it this way. So you should go here, two, forward three, and center, six, forward seven. and, which is probably the one that I use in, that I use in both, right? So you can use in either way, whatever you feel more comfortable to switch. So now, talking about what Maria was saying, how do you tell her that we're gonna do the switch of the timing. So, very easy, just to make sure that everybody's watching us, guys. Please, I wanna see some hearts there. You can just click the likes and everything just to make sure that we are, you are watching and please make sure that you share with friends if you think that this is helpful for somebody, okay? So, the resistance that we create on the hands, that actually we took another of the, of our videos, we're gonna create some kind of resistance and also some control weight so, so we make sure that she understands, right? 
let's put an example. Let's say that I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna change when I go back. So if I do, kum kum, six, seven. In this case, I'm going backwards. Two, three, kum kum, six, seven. In the middle, I create some kind of resistance so she understands that I kind of stop her, right? And before she actually transfers the weight, I kind of bring her back with me. But you have to gradually start creating that energy, right? So let's do it again. Six, seven, kum kum, two, three, kum kum, six, seven, two, three, kum kum, six, seven. So what happened here in my hand is that pretty much as she's going back, I cannot stop moving my hand, so I don't go forward with her. She's coming here. I'm trying to go back into my center, and he's kind of saying no. So right here, I stop her I want to and bring forward. her back. Okay, the momentum that you create with the hand actually it brings that hand up. Let me just move the chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> keep keep hitting the chair. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> two, three, two, three, seven. You can tell that this is life, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> two, here. three, we're backwards. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, nearly bring, bring her, her back. Forward. You see that most of my energy comes this way. Now, to do it the other way, on this one I can stop her and then bring her with me. If it's the opposite side. More like pulling, right? So that one he kind of like pulls me, he pulls the hand towards him. On this one it would be more like a pushing more towards like a me. Stop, correct. So if we're doing this That's now. That's a little more clear. Going backwards again. So boom, boom. boom. Six, seven, boom, boom. As I try two, to go three, forward, he this is stops stop. me. Right here is our stop. But this actually, kind of stop, you see, actually, it's up with this part of him. Actually, you see here, boom. You can see it here. With this stop, I stop her here. And with this momentum, uh, I send her back. back. Okay, so you're going to go back to, to the full thing. So we'll get so, a new toy if you can't tell. I love my new toy. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so you're doing this. Kung kung, two, six, seven. Like, we're back, we're back with two, three. Kung kung, six, seven. Kung kung, two, three. Kung kung, six, seven. Just more like. Send and. Send and. It's important, ladies, that you have connection. You have resistance that we talk about uh, on the previous videos, uh, we have to be connected, right? We cannot, be, even if I stop her, but she has like what we call the spaghetti arms, it, it's, it can, it's still because it's possible, but it's gonna be harder, right? So you want to make sure that whenever you're dancing here, ladies, you create this momentum. She stopped from her arm, she body. stopped her body, right? Once she feels the stop, she uses her core to stop her body, not, not the whole all the way on, my, on the hand, right? So she feels it, we slow down here, boom, and come back again to the to the feeling of the, of, of the uh, step, right? So this is just, the, let's say, the basic way to do it. If you are more advanced dancer, and you know what is a core beat, upbeat, downbeat, you will, this way to change the timing, it may, it, it's a little more fancy, let's put it that way, but if you already understand timing, you will understand what we're doing here. If you're very, you used to start dancing salsa, don't worry about that one, but I just want to give you the options for more advanced dancers, right? So, let's say that I'm, I, I'm going to start backward, right? So, I'm going to do kum kum, six, seven, kum kum, two, three, now this I'm going backwards because my six going back is supposed to be the two, right? Kum kum, six, seven, kum kum, Two, three, kum kum, six, seven, kum kum. This is you're already two, in the three, middle of kung kung, social dancing. Six, seven, seven kum kum, two, two three, three, five, seven. One, two, three, kum kum, six, Back seven, six. kum kum, two, three, five, six, and seven. Yes? Now, let's put both actually on one. In one, is exactly the same thing. Let's say that you start dancing on one. Are you going to start going backwards? So you might go here, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So you do the opposite way. So start uh, with this one, right? It starts and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. The other one also works the same way. So we're doing here. Five, I'm sorry. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. 
Yes? So, guys, give us some thumbs up if you like it. Do you think that this is helpful? Make sure that you connect with your partner. Try to check the other videos. Learn how to use the resistance, how gradually it start, uh, uh, moves up with more energy or how it slows down. So try to check all that uh, little details. And hopefully this video, you find it helpful, right? Now, probably why I explain everything, what happens with the guy only. What happens if, he, if the guy is the one that's going on the wrong, on the wrong uh, timing? Why do you ladies do? Why do you ladies do? Yeah. Here? Well, I mean, it's a little tricky. So most of the time, the guy will change the timing. Of course, if he hears the transition, right? Or if he hears the change. If I hear the change and he doesn't hear the change, I mean, it, it really depends for me. I mean, this is, it's not saying what I would do is the only way, but what I would personally do on the dance floor. If the guy knows me, right, so say I'm dancing with somebody, they know me, they know I'm an instructor, they know, like, I have a good ear. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of dancing, right, and I feel the change, and okay, he's not changing. I might just look at him and be like, hey, did the music change? I think the music changed. Like, oh, okay, right? So it really depends. Like, of course, if I have a connection with the guy and I know him, I will say something, right? Because sometimes it feels a little weird for me. If I don't know him and he's, like, in the middle of dancing and he just doesn't hear the change at all, I will just finish the whole song on the other beat, right? Um, also, another way I change is in shine. Say the guy lets me go, I'm kind of a little bit more, um, I guess, expressive with my body, and I will change myself in front of him, because if he's looking at me doing his shine, I will change, right? Six, seven, or two, three, six, seven. He might be like, okay. Uh -oh. He'll feel it, because I try to make him feel it, again, with the expression of my body and he'll change his shines, and then he'll pick me back up, and then we'll dance together again, right? So uh, there's a few things that I do that, like, sometimes they catch, sometimes they don't. It's not a big deal. I just finish the song, and we have a great time. Yeah? Cool. So, guys, this is our video about how to change the timing. Also, it's another video that we have also on YouTube. But um, this one, of course, is live, and I want to see, guys, if you are commenting, if you put in your your comments here. I would like to see you guys liking it. That would be great to, I know it's Friday probably, some of you are already getting ready to go, <laughs> party hour. and everything. Well, we're yeah. here working hard, I'm kidding. That's okay, we, this is, we love to do this and we really like it. So. But this might be good if you're going out social dancing tonight, maybe you can use this in, in, in your dancing tonight. Yes. So hopefully it'll help. Um, ask us questions if something doesn't make sense, or ask us another question, another video that you want to see. Make sure we use the hashtag Ask Joel Sasa. Also, you can direct message us on the Facebook page, on Joel Sasa Facebook page. Just direct message us. We know some of you have already been doing. We are working on those videos too, so be patient. Um, and that's it. Again, we teach here in New York City, JoelSasa.com. If you ever want to visit us. And we also have MySalsaOnline.com, which is our online school, right? And we give a lot of tips and tools in our advanced and beginner turn patterns, which we do um, on a monthly basis for our membership. Okay. Yes, uh, I just put the link uh, on the comments. If you want to send us a message directly and ask us questions, please don't hesitate to do it. We will be happy to make questions about your, I mean, answers about your questions on video. And also we want to say, Omar, I think this is res respond to your question. Thank you so much for uh, leave your question and mm. hope to see you soon. Yeah. Have a great weekend, see you guys. Mañana, actually. <laughs> yes, yeah, tomorrow we're going to make more videos. Please stay tuned. Uh, we don't know the time, but if you want to follow us and you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos, make sure that you click the thing this somewhere around here in the corner. It's a little button that you, once you click it, you will be subscribed to our uh, notifications so you know when we are live, okay? Yes, or you can visit joelsalsa.com and enter your name and email on the home page. That's another way where we give notifications that we are going to be live. Yes? Cool. cool. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. This is Joel. Maria. Peace out until the next video. <laughs> See you later, guys. Ciao.